Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome to today's video. Yes, I am making another readathon TBR video. I feel like I've made so many TBRs for readathons and then for every single one of them I've never followed through. I have never like read the books, I just didn't have time, I was very swamped with school and then adjusting to a full time work schedule was kind of a lot for me. So we'll see how this one goes, but this time for the month of July it is the Olympic Games readathon hosted by Ishii and I did this last year and I really enjoyed it, I had so much fun and so I am going to try it this year, I'm going to try it again. This year, last year went really well for me, so hopefully this year I've been doing a lot more reading recently in the past week or so, so hopefully this TBR is something I'll actually be able to get through in the month of July. But I'm, I'm also thinking if I, if I do more readathons, I am probably not going to make a TBR video unless... I am going to be vlogging the readathons because I will not be vlogging this readathon. But if the reading rush happens again this year, I'm, I'll obviously try and do that if timing works out for me. So this may be the last readathon for a while that I do, just because I need to just sit and read for a little bit. But anyway, that's besides the point. So this year I have chosen to be on Team Apollo again. I was on Team Apollo last year because according to the quiz, I am most likely a daughter of Apollo. Yay! So the first thing I'll need to do are complete the five prompts for Apollo specifically, and the first one is music to my ears, listen to an audiobook, and I have chosen to do Fat Chance Charlie Vega. Um, this is a book that I have downloaded on my phone for an audiobook right now, and so since the readathon is in just a couple days, uh, I believe it may have actually started. I think this video should be going up July 1st. Yeah, so today would be the 1st of July, and so, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm started, I have started reading uh, Fat Chance Charlie Vega on audiobook. The second one is art, read a graphic novel, and this can be any sort of graphic novel, whether it's a comic or manga or anything like that, and so I have chosen to do a manga, actually. I will be reading Spy Times Family, Spy X Family, by Tatsuya Endo, and the, so I, this is obviously the first in a series. I've actually read this first one here. I will be reading the second volume, which I hope to get today. I'm borrowing them from a friend. Oh my gosh, I love this so much, but I'm gonna continue with the series. Um, so I will be reading the second volume for this. The third one is Apollo is the god of prophecy, and so I should read a book that I predict is going to be five stars, and for that one I've chosen a book I think has the most potential on my shelf to be five stars, close enough, and so that's To Kill a Kingdom, and this is by Alexander Christo. I have already chosen the bookmark I'm going to use for this book. Also, I think it's a really good summer read. It's about this, uh, girl or this princess, Mer Siren princess, who collects the heart of human princes and she, I believe, gets banished to uh, the earth land or whatever, our land, human land, um, and so she's got to figure out how to get back using the help of a prince whose heart she was going to try and get, I think. But yeah, so I, I'm going to read this one for the one I think is going to be a five star read. I just think it has the most potential. The fourth one is, uh, he, Apollo is known for being a beautiful god, and so to read a book that has a beautiful cover. And the book I've chosen for this, I think, has a beautiful dust jacket, but also is beautiful naked. And that is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedos. And, I mean, I took the dust jacket off because if I'm about to start reading it, I might take it with me to different places, and I don't want to injure the dust jacket in doing so. And I mean, come on, this is beautiful, and it's food, so, and I think it's going to be a beautiful story as well. This is about a high schooler who is also a teen mom, and she really wants to take this class 
at her school that is cooking, but it's focused on uh, the culinary traditions in Spain. And so the class actually takes a trip to Spain and she's not sure if she can do that, even though she really wants to because she has to take care of her daughter. So this is going to be a beautiful book. It, it is a beautiful book. Then the last book that is required for us Apollos uh, children is uh, Apollo is very well known, so read a book that is pretty well known. And I'm a little nervous about this one. It is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Um, again, very much one of the books that I've had in my past TBR for a couple of months now. Um, but I, I, I do feel like this is a pretty well known book, but it's also a bit of a chunkier book for this month long readathon. So this might be the. This might be the longest book for me to get through, depending on how much I am liking the story and the characters and whatnot. Um, so that's also why I think it fit really well for the last prompt, is if it does take me a while, then all I have to do is just finish it by the end of the month so I can finish all five prompts, versus all the other ones were pretty manageable. So, However, if I do somehow make it through all of the five required challenges, then I can go on to the bonus challenges, which are the same for everyone. And so I'm just going to quick go through and say what books I have chosen for those, just in case I get to them. But I can't read them until I finish the five prompts, so we'll see if I like actually get to them. Um, so the first one is Sword and Shield. Choose a book where you're not sure if you'll get along with the main character. I have chosen Deal with the Devil by Kit Rocha. Rocha? Rocha? And it's, I don't know too much about this book, but I know it's like librarians are badass and they deal with a library and books and it's this whole thing with like super soldiers. I'm not quite sure. I'm just, based on the last book that I read about like badass librarians, I really did not like the main character. So uh, while this is a completely different author and a completely different story, I'm going to use this as a prompt because I'm just not so sure that I'm really going to flow with this as much as I'm hoping to, but next on the list is Archery. Read a book shorter than 200 pages, and so for that I'm choosing a book I don't own yet, but I might just honestly either go to the library or if it's not there, I might go to Barnes & Noble and just sit down and read it right there in the store. And that is the next book in the Tea Dragon Society. I believe it's called the Tea Dragon Festival. It's either festival or tapestry. I'm not 100% sure. I'll figure it out when I get there. But this, these are just adorable little, very short books. And so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble and find the next one in the series to sit down and read it and call it good. Although I would like to buy it, I am on a book buying ban until fall time when I'm going to do a ginormous come book shopping with me slash haul. So I, I will buy it. I just need to read it before I buy it. Then the next one is Pegasus Writing. Choose a book that was published within the past five years and I will be choosing Unravel the Dusk by Elizabeth Lim. Again, I don't own this book, but this might be the one book that I'm going to have as an exception to my book buying ban. Uh, because I meant to buy it a very long time ago, but I wanted it in soft cover because that's how I owned the first one, Spin the Dawn, and I wanted them to match. And so I've been waiting for the soft cover to be released, and I believe it was released earlier in June. So I'm finally going to get that and now read it because I'm super excited. I've been waiting for forever for this, so here we go. The fourth bonus challenge is Monster Fighting. Read a book with magical creatures in it, and I will be reading... The Mermaid by Christina Henry, and this is very much focused on uh, P.T. Barnum's circus. He's trying to get this mermaid to join the circus as a mermaid, and she's like, okay, so how am I supposed to be a mermaid without revealing that I actually am a mermaid? And so I think this is a really fun, again, summary read that'll fit right into the challenge. Next up is Canoeing, and this is to read a book near, in, or by some sort of body of water, whether it's an ocean or a lake or just something like that. And so I'm choosing Beach Read by Emily Henry. Again, a bit of a chonkier read, but I think I'll go through it pretty quickly because it is contemporary. And in this book, she is on a cabin by a lake in Michigan, in my home state. 
I'm, yes, I'm excited about that. Um, so when I go home in August, I might just look and see uh, where in Michigan this book takes place after I've obviously read it and see if it's not possible to visit because I'm a nerd. So this is my body of water. The next one is a prompt that I know I'm going to fulfill whether or not I finish the first five required ones. It's just a question of whether or not I'll be able to count it. And that is The Climbing Wall, read the next book in a series. And I am choosing Wayward Witch, Wayward Witch by Zoreida Cordova. And this is the third and final book in the trilogy in the Brooklyn Bruja trilogy. And I have been loving this trilogy. I'm listening to them all on audiobook and I really wanted it to be the music to my ears prompt as well as this one but we can't double up so then I had to choose something else. <laughs> so hopefully if I can finish those five prompts I will zip through Wayward Witch and just finish the trilogy and be happy about it. And the last prompt is Capture the Flag, your most anticipated read and for that I have chosen to do You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I've been anticipating this for a very long time. I bought it and I was like, I'm gonna immediately read it. And then I didn't immediately read it. Read it. I didn't immediately read it. And so I've been anticipating it, anticipating it, and waiting to actually sit down and read it. I wanted to read it during June because it's queer friendly, but that just didn't quite happen. But oh well. So this would be the final book that I read for the readathon. And that is it. Obviously, I will have the links down in the description to the announcement video where you can see all the other hosts and all the prompts for all the different uh, gods and challenges and whatnot. And this time, I'm going to actually read this readathon because I now have time to do so and I, I, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> For goodness sakes, I am going to fulfill this readathon and I will have a wrap up near the end of the month with most of these books in it, hopefully, plus some of the other books I've been reading as I've actually been starting to get through books pretty quickly now, which is why I'm thinking I will be able to fulfill this readathon because I am in a very good reading mood. So I'll get there. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you're participating and then whether or not you're participating what child or what yeah which god you think you are a child of or if you've taken the quiz let me know i want to know if there are any other apollo kids out there um also feel free to su subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified when i post which is every thursday and until i see you all in the next video i wish you a happy reading